anomalies have many ways for achieving their goals. Some employ methods capable of escaping even the control and concealment of the SCP Foundation. Among these, the most dangerous are those which make you fall into a trap of your own free will. We will be examining a cognito hazard through the layers of memory protection put in place by both the Foundation and us at the GOC. Pay close attention to the hidden messages and don't lose sight of your reality. Item number SCP-2316 Object Class Gather Disruption Class 3 Connect Risk Class 4 Danger Cognito Hazard Warning They've been waiting for a long time. The following file contains images and text that are carriers for anomalous cognito hazardous influences. You do not recognize the bodies in the water. Due to this, it is imperative that all personnel accessing this file be certified as having a cognitive resistance value CRB, of no less than 14.5. Should you fail an automated CRB verification, please remain calm and do not move. A member of your site's medical staff will be with you shortly. Please repeat the following phrase slowly and clearly into your terminal microphone. I do not recognize the bodies in the water. Run a just tonal variance processor. Processing complete. Results displayed below. Verification complete. User CRB is within acceptable limits. Special containment procedures. Under no circumstances are Foundation personnel to approach SCP-2316. Observation of SCP-2316 must only be carried out by remote dummy probes, utilizing video and audio recording equipment. Only those personnel adequately rated for exposure to cognitive hazardous anomalies may review footage and audio of SCP-2316. The lake in which SCP-2316 is located has been quarantined and fenced off, and is to be routinely patrolled by individuals who have not been exposed to SCP-2316 and have no prior knowledge of its characteristics. You do not recognize the bodies in the water. Individuals who attempt to bypass the enforced quarantine must be apprehended and moved to Site 33 for a full cognitive influence screening. Individuals who come within 50 meters of the lake containing SCP-2316 are to be considered lost. Please repeat the following phrase slowly and clearly into your terminal microphone. I do not recognize the bodies in the water. Run a just tonal variance processor. Processing complete. Results displayed below. Verification complete. User CRB is within acceptable limits. Description SCP-2316 is the designation for an anomalous phenomenon existing within Lake. Within. County. SCP-2316 manifests as a group of human corpses floating in a small group at the surface of the water. Due to the nature of SCP-2316, it is uncertain how many individual corpses exist within the group. The number is currently estimated at 45, but has been estimated as high as 200 or more. The identities of these corpses are... Though DNA testing has been inconclusive. While SCP-2316 appears to be individual instances, it is theorized that SCP-2316 may instead be an entity composed of a collective consciousness. Individual instances of SCP-2316 do not act on their own, but do seem to be able to act collectively as a single unit. I know who they are. I know their names. Each and every one of them. Don't you? The individual instances of SCP-2316 are unrecognizable. Jeremiah Feynman, Arthur Scott, Dennis Clark, Har. And you do not recognize the bodies in the water. SCP-2316 hosts a powerful cognito hazardous effect, causing those who have viewed SCP-2316 are aware of certain parts of its nature or who were enrolled in the to believe that the individual instances of SCP-2316 are human beings they recognize, typically from their childhood. They're lying. They know damn well who they are. The cognito hazard is real, but it's just their way of crying for help, of letting people know who they are, who they were. Attempting to come into contact with SCP-2316 instances 
by way of entering Lake or touching an instance of SCP-2316 will cause other instances of SCP-2316 to appear. You do not recognize the bodies in the water. The additional instances only serve to reinforce and not to the strength of the cognitive hazard, compelling affected individuals into the lake. Individuals who enter the lake in this way are lost, and to date, none have been recovered. How can you not recognize the bodies in the water? Addendum 2316.1 Interview They don't want to show you, but I will, below. You need to see this. They were your friends. Error. Unrecognized user. Please log into view view view. Begin, log. Did you ever feel compelled to enter the water? Like something was pulling you in? What? No, of course not. There's nothing wrong with them. They didn't drag me in. I saw them in the water and went in myself. I needed to see them. I wanted to hear what they were saying. They're my friends. When you enter the water, what did you see? You do not recognize the bodies in the water. Faces. My friends. Faces I recognize. Some I didn't. But they became more familiar as I saw them. I'd known them my whole life, but there was something wrong with them. Wrong with them? Like the face of someone you see in a dream where you can't remember it right. There's something wrong. And the way they were speaking, they... Speaking? No, that's impossible. They're simply not... Not moving their mouths, but I could hear them asking for help. They told me... They told me who they were. They told me you knew who they were. That you... Enough of that. You're clearly succumbing to the cognitive hazard. We need to get you to medical attention, agent. If you would... Get your hands off of me. I know all their names, Harrison. I heard them speaking to me. Every single one. All it takes is one person to see them and tell people. And they'll know what you've been trying to hide. Dear Longwood High School, class of... Subdue them! Get them out of here! Take them to amnestics and turn the goddamn recorder off! In low. Please, repeat the following phrase slowly and clearly into your terminal microphone. I do not recognize the bodies in the water. I recognize the bodies in the water. Processing complete. Results displayed below. Verification incomplete. User CRB is not within acceptable limits. User CRB influenced by active cognitive hazards. Please stay still. A member of your site's medical will be with you shortly. Terminal lockout. Addendum to the 316.2. Invalid entry. You don't have a lot of time. You'll need to get away quickly. Go back to the lake. Go into the water. Look into their eyes. It's your friends, your classmates. You took the trip to the lake in the fall of 17 together. When you were young. Don't you remember? Look into their eyes. I know you can hear them talking to you. Just like they talked to me. Don't let them tell you it's just a cognitive hazard. This was their fault. They caused this. We were all innocent kids. Don't you remember? And you just got away. You and I. The rest of them are at the bottom of the lake. Waiting for us to go back to them. And be whole together again. They want us to know. They want us to remember. Wake up, goddammit. Remember the fall of 75, the year we were supposed to graduate. Don't let them make you forget. They're calling to you. Can you hear them? 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 Can we didn't know what was in the lake. The foundation didn't try and save us. They watched and let it happen. Nobody stopped them. You do not recognize the bodies in the water. You do not recognize the bodies in the water. You do not recognize you the hear them? in the water. Can you hear them? Can you hear them? You do not recognize the bodies in the water. Can you hear them? Can you hear them? Can you hear them? I know you can. Can you hear them? 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 They're waiting for you. 
We were, we were there with them. The bodies in the water. Go back to the lake. The old water tower on the outskirts of this hill town has been derelict for ages. It's amazing they haven't turned the damn thing down yet. I reach out for the next rung, which groans in response to the unexpected weight, before snapping off entirely. I manage to catch myself at the last second, but my GoPro isn't so lucky. It makes a soft plop in the snow below. There goes my perfect selfie. It was a close call though. I take a second to catch my breath before I seal my nerves and continue my ascent. Can't turn back now. Stick to the plan. You're going to be remembered for this. I clamber to the platform and I'm greeted with an oversized grin. The rival school's idiotic mascot. Its face is wetter than peeling. Good thing he's about to get a brand new paint job. Now all I need to do is decide exactly how many I should add. Time to get to work. Just one more over here. Oh, let's have one all over it. Pink? The f did I think I was going to do with pink paint? Give him some missing teeth. He'll look just like this in bread. Little bit more and... Done! I stand back and admire my creation in all its glory. In just a few hours, people will wake up to their beloved avatar being assaulted by a group of floating pimps. As if it were the start of a haunted. Now, all I need to do is snap some pics for the guys to prove that yes, I am that badass. I whip out my cell and get to work lamenting the fact that I can't post this online. If only so I can hashtag. It's a good as time as any for a smoke. I spark one and look out over the woods that surround the town. Last night, snowfall blanketed the landscape, leaving a pristine coat of white that went on for miles. I could see the lake off in the distance. From my vantage point, I could clearly see over the privacy fence that encircles it. As the early morning fog began to dissipate, I could even see the water surface and... What the f*** is that? Can you see them out there? I cup my hands around my eyes, as if make-believe binoculars could somehow improve my vision and lean out over the railing. There's definitely something bobbing about the surface. It... It looks like there's someone out there? That can't be right. It is. They closed the lake off ages ago. To keep it hidden. Something about an undertow? Lies. Well, it's not my problem if some random nobody gets themselves killed. They're closer to you than you'd think. As much as I want to turn away... I can't, because you want to know the truth. I'm frozen to the spot, precariously hanging over the railing. There's something about him, something familiar? Don't you remember? The red head, Kathy Lawson. We met in home ec class. She was always so patient and caring. She still cares. Took a trip with me and several of my classmates over the summer to check out the new Space Mountain. We shared our first kiss during the fireworks displayed on the third night. I... made some dumb promises I knew I couldn't keep. There's still time. To a corner. A total blast to have around. Always wanted me to tag along on his misadventures. He didn't want to be all alone. We got cough sneaking in to see Joss. I managed to get away before the cop showed up. He wasn't so lucky. Never sold me out, either. And Reese losing you. He always had my back. Don't let him down. Ben Ward. Lived across the street from me our entire lives. He's been there the whole time. I could never ask for a better friend. And he, you. We began drifting apart once he started getting pretty deep into his schoolwork. He was scared of what you might think. Every once in a while he'd stop by, just to chill. Because he missed you. Don't you miss him too? Last time we talked was when he treated me to Queen's show at the Paramount, back in April. I fall backwards, reeling from a mix of vertigo from the height, lightheadedness from the cigarette, and a sudden, splitting migraine. I press my palms into my eyes, trying to get my head straight. I can't even focus on myself now, though. There's people down there. They need my help. 
without even bothering to clean my evidence, I'll be back for it. I drop to the ladder and begin climbing down. It's a quiet ride on my bike up to the path that leads to the lake, and a crunchy one for the last mile or so. The only sound other than me plodding through the snow are the occasional gusts of wind screaming through the trees. No, not the wind. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Danger. Drowning hazard. Area is off limits. Little signs like these were posted everywhere. It's to keep you out. It's to keep the truth hidden. I disregard them and trek on. I can't abandon my friends now. It's funny. Even though the sun is coming up, it seems to be getting colder. It's always cold. That's why they need you. Barbed wire. That's right. How the hell am I supposed to get over this? Over there. Wait a minute. That bush. Almost. Looks like there's a hole behind it. Going right under the fence. Please. On my hands and knees, I crawl through. I can see it now. Can you see them? Can you see them? Can you see us? Can you see them? They can see you. We can. We can see. See. See you. It's... Dear God. Will you help us? Do you remember us? Do you remember me? Me? Us? How could you forget? After everything. Don't you remember us? It's everyone I know. Every one of you. All my friends. My family. Still others I don't recall in full. You shouldn't be here. Why? How can this be? I have to get you out of here. I won't let this go on. The freezing water is around my ankles now. With each step, I can feel the ground below getting further away. Up to my thighs. And I'm already shivering. My heart begins to drop. Something is wrong. Help us, please. Only you. What about all those years? Was it all for nothing? You promised. Always looked out for you. We need you. Remember us. You promised. I'm slowly moving out towards them. I can't help. It doesn't have to be this way. We can all make it out of here. Up to my chest. I can't shake the creeping dread from being in such deep water. When I was a child, an ill-advised cannonball set me plummeting to the bottom of my uncle's pool. I freaked. I couldn't move. I flailed about in a panic, trying desperately to gain vertical ground to no avail. I thought I was going to die. Someone got down in time to fish me out, but ever since then, I've had a horrible phobia of water. In fact, I never actually learned how to swim. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. There's always time. Don't turn back. Don't leave us here. Please. You promised. Up to my neck. It's too late now. I can't find the bottom. I can't gain a footing. I'm choking on the water. I'm starting to flail again. It's alright. We waited so long. You won't turn your back on us. We could have been so much. Done so much. All gone. Wasted. Into her arms now. I can't see their faces. I recognized all of them. I know all of them. We're finally together. They've been waiting for me for so long. How could I have forgotten? Forgotten? Why would they do that to us? How could they? They can't do that. They can't leave us here. You can't leave me here. Don't forget me. In Luke. This entry is one of those rare occasions when the Foundation's file allow us to get a glimpse of the effects of a contained anomaly. It's important to point out, however, that this was in no way intentional on their part. Anomaly 2316 may not pose a threat to humanity as a whole, but the Foundation's constant negligence has surely cost the lives of countless families 
due to their stubborn refusal to destroy anomalies. This lake represents a constant danger, and we won't rest until we've uncovered its location and put an end to the SCP Foundation's experiments by any means necessary. Help us continue this effort by leaving your comments and suggestions below. I am Vitos Trisanonimo, we are the GOC, and you have been informed.